Fighters in a sport as uncertain as mixed martial arts never know when a chance to change their career path could present itself. Athletes competing in the USC or other major promotions should therefore be prepared to enter the cage at any time. We'll examine some of the most significant, short-notice step-ups in MA history to help highlight the significance of being prepared. Now, without further ado and ranked in no particular order, let's take a look at the top 10 short-notice wins in MA. Number 10. Jamie Varner vs. Edson Barboza Jamie Varner is best remembered for competing in World Extreme Cage Fighting, where he became the promotion's lightweight champion. However, when the USC absorbed the WEC, Varner was 0-3-1 in his last four fights and was rumored to have issues with USC management. As such, Donna White and company decided to pass on the former WEC champ when the promotions merged. However, the lightweight standout would revitalize his career competing in lesser-known promotions and eventually earn his second shot in the USC. He had previously had a forgettable two-fight stint in the organization before his tour in the WEC. Of course, his re-entry into the USC came in the form of a short-notice fight with the undefeated striking sensation Edson Barbosa. Barbosa was coming off a highlight reel knockout of Terry Adam and entered the contest as a 5-1 betting favorite. In truth, Varner was being fed to the Brazilian to produce another knockout of the night performance. Shockingly, the lightweight veteran scored an improbable first-round TKO victory, putting the first blemish on Barbosa's spotless record. The win earned Jamie Varner 2012's Upset of the Year honors and six more fights in the USC. Number 9. Ben Henderson vs. Brandon Thatch Former UFC lightweight champion Ben Smooth Henderson has never shied away from a risky fight. Henderson stepped in on just two weeks' notice to replace an injured Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Henderson not only took a fight on short notice, he also made a move up to welterweight for the first time in his career. Moreover, the man they call Smooth was slated to take on one of the division's surgeon prospects in Brandon Thatch. At the time, Thatch was undefeated in the USC and was riding a 10-fight winning streak. Not to mention, he also appeared to have a considerable size advantage over Henderson. Remarkably, even without a full training camp, the visibly smaller Henderson snapped his opponent's undefeated streak by securing a rear-naked choke in the fourth round. Given the circumstances behind the victory, the Thatch win was definitely a highlight in Henderson's legendary USC run. Number 8. Daniel Cormier of Zantonio Silva Daniel DC Cormier is a prime example of an athlete who used a short-notice opportunity to springboard his career. In 2011, Cormier was asked to step in as a replacement and entered the Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix on just five weeks' notice. His first tournament test would be Antonio Bigfoot Silva, who was fresh off a victory over the legendary Fedor Emelianenko. To the surprise of many, the undersized prospect from Lafayette, Louisiana, TKO'd the Giant in the very first round. Remarkably, DC would also go on to defeat Josh Barnett and win the Strike Force Grand Prix. The future multi-time USC champion used a short-notice bout to transition from prospect to superstar. Number 7. Ryan Ortega vs. Frankie Edgar Ryan T. City Ortega has been a part of the UFC featherweight division's title picture for years now. Of course, the two-time title challenger earned his first shot at the gold by stepping in on short notice to face Frankie, the answer Edgar at UFC 222. Stepping in to face a former champion is a risky proposition, but T. City made the most of the opportunity. The Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt shocked pundits by landing a nasty uppercut that knocked the answer out cold. In doing so, Ortega became the first man to finish Edgar. The well-timed blow earned Ortega performance of the night honors and a date with featherweight champion Max Holloway at USC 231. Number 6. TJ Dillashaw's Renan Burrow Most fans remember TJ Dillashaw's upset win over Henan the Baron Burrow at USC 173. That evening, the Uriah Faber understudy pulled off a massive upset by putting away the Baron in the fifth round to become bantamweight champion. However, some people may have forgotten that Dillashaw wasn't initially slated to face Burrow that evening. Originally, it was supposed to be Rafael Asumko who would fight for the title in May of 2014. However, when Asumko stepped out due to a rib injury, Dillashaw stepped in and made history. While Dillashaw would go on to have a Hall of Fame-worthy career, Asumko has never received a shot at the title and is in the midst of a four-fight losing streak. Number 5. Justin Gaffey is Tony Ferguson Despite an NCAA Division I wrestling pedigree, Justin the highlight Gaffey has earned a reputation as one of the most exciting strikers in the game. The post-fight bonus machine has lived up to his nickname and seems incapable of having a boring fight. One of his many highlights came at UFC 249, an event initially supposed to be headlined by Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson with the lightweight title on the line. 
However, when the bout was cancelled for a fifth time due to COVID-related travel restrictions, Gafchi stepped in on short notice to compete for the interim title. Ferguson entered the fight on a 12-fight winning streak and was roughly a 2-1 favorite heading into the contest. Of course, Gafchi would prove the odds makers wrong by dominating the fight. Finally, midway through the final round, the referee called a stop to the action, thus awarding the highlight the interim strap. In the end, Gefch's decision to replace Cabot would be career-altering. Number 4. John Jones vs. Shobin Rua John Jones is one of the most controversial athletes in mixed martial arts. Still, love him or hate him, the former multi-time champion is one of the sport's all-time greats. His breakout performance came at UFC 126 when he defeated fellow rising prospect Ryan Bader with relative ease via second-round submission. Immediately after the bout, Joe Rogan relayed the news that John Jones was chosen to replace an injured Rashad Evans and face Mauricio Chauvin Hua for the light heavyweight title. Though he only had a little over a month to prepare, Jones put on a dominant performance and managed to put Chauvin away in the third round, becoming the youngest champion in USC history at just 23 years of age. The short notice win would mark the first of three title reigns in which he defended the belt eight consecutive times. Number 3. Nate Diaz vs. Conor McGregor won while several members on our list won world titles by taking short notice fights, the man who gained the most notoriety for stepping up is Stockton's own Nate Diaz. UFC 196 was slated to feature a highly anticipated main event bout between Conor McGregor and Rafael Dos Anjos for the lightweight title. Unfortunately for McGregor, the Irishman wouldn't get his chance to become a two-division champion that evening, as Dos Anjos was forced to bow out with a broken foot. The UFC scrambled to find a last-minute replacement, wanting to keep their marquee star on the card. A scrappy fighter with a cult following Nate Diaz agreed to step up with just 10 days' notice. Despite entering the contest as a plus 300 underdog, Diaz managed to submit his highly favored opponent and give an iconic post-fight interview. The win over MA's biggest draw made Nate Diaz a megastar and one of the sport's most beloved fighters. Number 2. Michael Bisping as Luke Rockhold 2 Michael the Count Bisping struggled in big fights for much of his USC career, Having previously lost title eliminator bouts with Dan Henderson and Chael Sonnen, however, when the opportunity came knocking, the British star answered. UFC 199 had been forced to scratch its middleweight title match between Chris Weidman and Luke Rockhold, with the challenger suffering an injury. Finally, after a career of almosts, Bisbing was given the opportunity to compete for UFC Gold, albeit on just 17 days' notice. Of course, the Count and Luke Rockhold were no strangers to each other, as the rivals previously fought roughly a year and a half earlier in a contest in which Rockhold emerged the victor. Given the previous results of their first encounter, combined with the short-notice nature of the contest, most pundits picked the champion to retain his title, with Rockhold coming in as a minus 850 betting favorite. However, Bisbing had other plans and avenged his loss with an improbable first-round knockout. Number 1. Seth Petruzzelli is Kimbo Slice the original main event for 2008's Elite XC Heat pitted fabled street fighter Kimbo Slice against aging legend Ken Shamrock. Of course, an injury on Shamrock's part would open the door for a little-known fighter with a 9-4 record named Seth Petruzzelli. Given the fact that Petruzzelli had no notable wins to speak of and had taken the fight on just a few hours' notice, no one expected him to pull off the upset against one of MMA's fastest rising stars. On top of that, the promoters allegedly paid Petruzzelli not to take their marquee star down due to Slice's lack of grappling skills, though it still didn't produce the outcome they were hoping for. In the end, it took just 14 seconds for Petruzzelli to hand Slice his first loss by TKO in the internet legend. With their biggest star now compromised, Petruzzelli's short-noticed win effectively marked the beginning of the end for the struggling promotion. As always, if you guys enjoy the video, please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.